Welcome back into Wave 3 Listens Live. I'm Michael Vanover. We're now transitioning to talk about education in the community, which is so important here in Kentuckiana. Joining me now, Rich Licklider, the president of the Catholic Foundation, the Catholic Education Foundation, mm -hmm. and Dr. Jennifer Zimmern, the principal of St. James School. How are you all today? Fantastic. Thank Thanks nice to be for here. being here. Thank I appreciate you. it. So, Rich, uh, it's good to see you again on the program. It has, it's been a little bit of time since we've gotten to chat. If you could, for the folks at home that are not familiar with your organization, give a little bit of background. Sure, Michael. Um, you know, the Catholic Education Foundation, we're, we're going to reach our 25th year in November of 2020. And our organization raises funds across central Kentucky in the Archdiocese of Louisville to primarily provide tuition assistance to families who can't afford to send their kid to a Catholic school. Most of that is in our 39 Catholic elementary schools, many of which are here in Jefferson County. But we also provide some assistance uh, to our nine high schools as well. So we've uh, been trying to keep up with that demand and have done a, through the generosity of our donors, have done a, a good job of that over the last five years. And as an alumni, as you know, alumni of St. Albert the Great and then St. X, uh, you know, Catholic education is important to me and, uh, you know, provided a great base for me as I've gone into the workforce. Dr. Zimmerman, could you give us a little bit of background on the St. James School and uh, just some of its history? Because it, it has a lot of history. It does. Uh, St. James School began in 1906 and we just graduated our 114 class. Uh, when it was originated, it was focus was on St. James parishioners and uh, p students in the Highlands. Today, we are focused on an outreach within the community. We have students from 35 zip codes, and we have a mission to bring in students from the West End because we are the closest school to the West End, and we believe that they have a right to a Catholic education just as any other student in the city. So let's talk about, if you could, the student composition, Dr. Zimmerman, uh, the makeup of the school and, and you know, what's brought you to today in the current layout. Today we have 48% of the students are white, 40% are African American, 6% uh, are Asian, and the other 6% uh, are others that just make up a combination of a lot of different ethnicities. And we have students from all socioeconomic backgrounds. And I believe we are the most diverse Catholic school in the area. Rich, if you could talk to me about the importance of a, a school like St. James in this community and, and just how big of a deal it is for this area. Yeah, it's a very big deal. Uh, even though St. James is relatively small compared to some of the other Catholic school, its mission is incredibly unique. And I think that's really important. Right in the heart of the Highlands, if you think about this, there's, I think, 43 boys and girls who come in on a bus every morning from the Portland and West End neighborhoods. I think that's incredibly powerful. And at the foundation, we're doing a lot of work to sustain the school and, in fact, grow the enrollment there as well. Dr. Zimmerman, with such a high percentage of the students coming from West Louisville, how are they able to get to and from school every day? We provide a school bus um, that will pick them up and bring them to school. And we try to get the, them dropped off as closest to their home and their front door. We work with Miller Transportation on that. We also are partnered with the Community Catholic Center and they do a lot of um, tutoring for our students and homework calls. And so we also drop students off uh, there as well in the afternoon. Now, I know you touched on it a little bit earlier, but how does the work of the Catholic Education Foundation directly impact St. James? Well, we're, uh, we're the largest uh, funder, if you will, of the school in terms of tuition assistance. I think out of 127 kids last year, over 80 of them received some form of tuition assistance. So we're the, we're the difference for most of these kids being able to go to St. James School, and we're really proud of it. Let's uh, shift gears a little bit, Dr. Zimmerman, and talk about some of the opportunities that these kids have at St. James School. Like, what, for example, what kind of access to technology do they have? Our students last year from fifth to eighth grade were one-to-one um, -one Chromebooks. And this year, we have, we're gonna have kindergarten through eighth grade. We'll have um, technical devices, Chromebooks, and the younger ones will have tablets. 
And we also, um, within the past couple of years, incorporated a lot of technology within the classrooms and professional development for the teachers to use the technology. Now, what are some of the enrichment programs that are available? Our enrichment programs are something that we're really proud of. We have a band, a school band, where we had instruments donated to us. We have a gardening team, which is actually a really popular uh, class. The students uh, begin um, under the grow lights that we have in school, and then they plant the um, fruits and vegetables in the garden, and then they harvest them, and in the past they made their own tomato sauce. And so they get to see the full process. We also have a robotics program that is extremely popular, and the children are learning how pre-programming skills, and that is exciting for them as well. Now, Dr. Zimmerman, a lot of these programs, they do sound like they cost a lot. So what are some of the fundraising opportunities that you guys do for the St. James School? I'll take that one. Um, We've actually uh, kind of partnered with the parish uh, recently. In fact, Mike Polio, who's a, a parish member and a great leader uh, in that community, uh, has put together a group inside the parish to raise money to augment the tuition, so money on top of the tuition, to do what Jennifer's talking about in terms of program development. So we're, uh, I think we've raised already for next school year over $100,000 to expand the programs at St. James School. It's huge. Well, that's amazing. So if, if somebody's watching right now uh, that's interested in possibly checking out the school, how can they do that and what is some information you have for them? They can get on our website at stjamesbluejays.com and there's information on how to enroll and about the different programs. Or they can also call the school at 454-0330 and we'd be more than happy to give them a tour, show them around, and um, show off all of our neat programs that many in the community do not know about. All right, and before I let you go, the million dollar question, what, what happens to the kids that graduate from St. James? We are excited. The majority <laughs> of our ki kids attend Catholic schools. This year we're gonna have about 100%, and then last year we had our eighth grade class was eight students, and we had six that attended Catholic schools, and then the other two were accepted to manual. Well, Rich, thank you so much. Dr. Zimmerman, thank you as well. We really appreciate it. Great things happening in the education, the Catholic education community here in Louisville, and you guys are both a big part of it. We appreciate God it. God bless you. Thank, thank you, Michael. Absolutely. Thank you very much. We'll be right back on Wait for Your Listens Live.